Hello and welcome to the 5 Minute Film Club. Last week, Amazon Prime here in the UK released Dave Franco's directorial debut, The Rental. The setup is a classic Cabin in the Woods story, where two brothers, Charlie and Josh, played by Dan Stevens and Jeremy Allen White, and their partners, Michelle and Mina, played by Alison Brie and uh, Sheila Vaughn, head off for a weekend away from the city in an Airbnb by the sea, complete with drugs, drink, and a hot tub. When they arrive, we quickly understand that things are not quite right. The person who's renting the property, Taylor, played brilliantly by Toby Huss, seems to be prejudiced against Mina and is just acting a bit strange. As things progress, tensions arise within the group as secrets start to come out and they suspect that someone is watching them. Tell me that's not a camera. Director and co-writer Dave Franco has definitely studied the horror classics, in particular The Shining and Halloween. And what I think he does really well with the rental is his ability to build tension and then to sustain it through the entire running time. I also really like how stylishly this is shot with some excellent sweeping camera moves in some knockout locations. The use of colour at the start of the film is more naturalistic and then as things, you know, take a turn for the worst, the colour has a more stylistic presence, harkening back to the giallo thrillers of Dario Argento. I also really appreciate the time that we get to spend with the characters before events take that turn. Some of the dialogue is a bit exposition heavy, with a load of foreshadowing thrown in. For example, there are loads of lines that are just typical slash affair, like when Toby Huss pointedly says, enjoy your final night. I think these are all intentional touches, but uh, without giving too much away, not all is what it may seem. But still, I, I do think the dialogue at times can be a bit rote. However, my enjoyment of the actual performances from all the actors involved kind of overshadows all of the uh, issues that I have around the dialogue and the script. Now, as I just alluded to, the film does change quite a bit within the last 40 minutes um, of the film. There's the addition of a new character that uh, disrupts things quite considerably. And whereas I really enjoyed the direction that it went, I, I'm not sure whether it was able to truly stick the landing of what they wanted. I don't think it's satisfying. It wasn't satisfying en enough for me, um, which is a big shame because the start of the film and all the way up to the point where it changes, I was really enjoying it. I was with the film 100%. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my review of The Rental. Please remember to subscribe and like this review if indeed you did like it. And if you don't like horror, well, I've got a few other series uh, coming up because I'm going to look at this year all of the James Bond films and all of the Spider-Man films. So please join me this Friday for my first review of Spider-Man from 2002, directed by Sam Raimi and starring Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker. But until then, I'll say thank you very much for watching and goodbye.